Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be grinding out some Rev Slayers and just kind of talking over it about the state of Hypixel and where we're headed. So let's just jump straight into it right after you smash that like and subscribe button. Come on, just hit it. Hit Come on, I'm not starting the video until- Alright, so we've had a few not good things recently, I would say. I mean, we've been waiting for the forging update for a very long time. I think everyone knows this. It's been delayed many, many times, and every time they tell us it's coming soon, they're like, wait, nope. We got something else to do. And I'd say Hypixel has a pretty consistent issue with this, which I think is not- always their fault they're very ambitious which i seriously respect and i'm not gonna just be bashing on hypixel this whole video i genuinely they do such an amazing job this game is insane like to be built in minecraft and not even be its own game the amount of coding that they have to work around to make this work is just insane and they consistently do it it's just they're time schedule is a bit of a downer now of course in the blog post at the end of last year they said they're gonna have to be doing more updates this year which we've already seen a few more we've gotten fan already this year and uh super crafting that came out as well but they said there it was gonna be less ql stuff so hopefully we get some more things besides super crafting but uh, y'all haven't seen the alpha that's that's a major issue we'll get to that later anyways last year was a lot of groundwork they said in that blog post. I'll try to remember to link that in the description. If I don't, make sure to leave a comment and remind me if you don't mind. But basically, they said last year they did a lot of QOL stuff and didn't have too many major updates. We just had like Rift in the garden last year, which were really good updates, of course. Being known as the Rift guy, I might be slightly biased, but I really did like those updates. And they said starting this year, we were going to be getting the forging update very soon, very early into the year, at least on the alpha. They did put a nice little hopefully there. So, you know, of course, I suspect that it's going to come out in August, but I hope that it would be out by March. And I'm recording this on March 4th and it's not out yet. And now we're getting an update to the end. And they said we're getting an update to the Crimson Isle, which I am completely fine with some revamps or 2.0 updates. But we keep having this issue of timetable. I know it's it's been a long time i can't remember the exact year it was at this point that they announced the forging update they announced like the abyssal update they even had like a portal over at the mushroom desert that was going to be to a whole new island really early on in skyblock and that got scrapped which projects get scrapped that's it's bound to happen especially whenever you're dealing with so many coding issues as we have trying to code into minecraft you know that alone is a major major undertaking and the fact that they're moving it up to 1.19 or 1.20 whichever one it is now with the forging update that's that's got to be a major undertaking taking and i am completely understanding that it's it's gonna take a while i think most of us are but the big problem is they keep saying it's not gonna take a while and then it does take a while we just i mean hightail can we talk about hightail <laughs> when that comes out in like what 2030 at this point it's been pushed back what at least five times i swear and now the game is like completely different from what the trailer was that came out based on what i'm hearing at least and we just keep coming back to the same issue of biting off a little bit more than we can chew which again that's bound to happen but the big issue is telling us about the projects before they happen so then we get excited about it and inevitably we get let down so that's like the really big issue again that i would say hypixel has is just telling us things too early which it's very exciting to see like the admins be so excited about something and i'm glad that they want to keep us filled in but there's some things that we don't need to be filled in on if you're just gonna get our hopes up and then let them crash again this is an amazing game the updates that do come out when they do come out are insane and i don't think we've had like a sincerely bad update where everything in it was bad like fan i uh, know a lot of people didn't love but i know there's a few good things from that update i mean taming 60 is a w as well as buffing carrot candies that part was really really nice now fan herself you know may not be the best update but at least we got an owl pet as well to increase pet score you know there's always something good in every update at least in my opinion and if something is like notoriously despised by everyone then it gets a 2.0 update that makes it way better because the admins listen to the community they they really do and that honestly 
honestly maybe part of what makes some updates take so long is they put it on alpha and then we're like ooh, you should do this and this and this and this and this and they have to kind of like sort through everything and decide what's actually good and which ones of us don't know what the heck we're talking about now they did say that we're going to be getting a lot more updates this year which again we've had two so far which if we average one a month like one somewhat not major update but decent update a month and then we get like a major update every six months that'll be about the same that we had last year i won't lie but as long as most of it's not qol you know i mean qol changes are nice super crafting is very nice but you know we want that juicy content us youtubers especially we need something to record guides and videos on can't really do too much with super crafting i'm not gonna lie one update video and then that's pretty much it which again is fine for every now and then but sometimes we need something big like the rift you know and that brings us to our our next point which is mini clune has left the hypixel staff team which is very very sad honestly most of my favorite updates in this game were made by mini clune at least in part slayers the rift i mean the list goes on i can't think of all of them right now but those two are like my two favorite parts of this game and mini clune had a major hand in those if he didn't make them all by himself so losing him is a it's a pretty big deal at least for me personally because i mean somebody else is going to be taking on giving us level 10 slayers and tier 5 slayers for you know, wolves and spiders and all that, which of course the, the high pixel staff team is very capable. Mini Clune was a very big part of that, but you know, the rest of the team, they can handle themselves. They're very good. Mini Clune didn't build this server all by himself. That's for sure. And honestly, he deserves to be on some, some much bigger games, some more mainstream things. I believe he's done an amazing job with the things that he's done on this server. And I can't wait to see what he's got planned for the future. So Mini Clune, if you're watching, Thank you, man. I personally appreciate everything that you've done, and I'm looking forward to whatever you've got planned next, brother. Now, we have to go over the end update that is currently on the alpha, which if you guys haven't seen, it's it's game breaking. I'm not going to lie. I really like the concept. Like, sincerely, it is an amazing concept with like multiple dragon fights happening at once, a new dragon type and new dragon armor, a better aspect of the dragons. Like, I am down for all of that stuff, except the armor armor is like ridiculous it's insane i believe it's like better than crimson or better than goldor and necron combined in dungeon and it's better than infernal crimson outside of it now i'm down for a better set in dungeons don't get me wrong but like for real it's coming out of the end that item that you get to within like two hours of gameplay and i mean i'm even i'm kind of sketchy on that part to be honest which of course it's not the best mage set in the game but if you're running a terminator or really anything besides lcm honestly it's probably better at lcm i don't even know it's it's ridiculous how powerful it is it's the best magic find set in the game the best effective health set the best damage set like it's ridiculous man it should not be the best at like all of these things at once that was kind of the point of having all these different things to grind now if they add this set in there's like very little reason to do like kudra at all the only reason you would have to do kudra is like fatal tempo and inferno and maybe the uh the the kudra core those drops are like the only things that would be relevant and i guess aurora would still be relevant but like you get my point all the people like myself who have spent insane amounts of money grinding up the stars and the attributes on these armor pieces those of us who have spent like hundreds to even thousands of hours on a single grind were just outclassed by a set that has gotten from a strategy that was introduced to the game like literally four years ago like again i am down for a new dragon set i am down for it to be the best at something it just doesn't need to be better than 15 star infernal crimson and honestly it should not be better than goldor and necron combined either personally i think the best route for them to take would be making it the best magic find setup in the game which I have heard a lot of people complaining about it being better than, I believe, Clover Helmet. It's better than Clover Helmet. We've got enough dragon kills on it, which is kind of crazy as well. It probably could use a nerf for that. But I mean, if it's better than Clover Helmet, eh. Personally, I don't have a Clover Helmet, so my stake isn't really in that part of it. But I, I understand where they're coming from. They spent like literally 6 billion coins on this helmet just for it to be outclassed by a dragon set. That would probably tick me off too. Now I'm down for them to just like fully buff Clover Helmet by an insane amount. That would be 
pretty cool as well. If they buff Clover Helmet and nerf the Dragon Armor but leave the Magic Find the way it is, I think that would be a pretty good way to do it. But like if this set gets introduced the way that it is right now, then I don't know, man. It's it's a little ridiculous. Like the sword is fine. Again, the whole concept I vibe with. Just the big issue is how powerful the armor is. If the armor gets a nerf, and honestly, I'd like to see how you spawn it get a nerf it currently takes like what i think 64 summoning eyes to spawn a single dragon which granted if you're actually placing you're gonna buy 32 probably to do 4-4 with someone else but like i would rather see it be a little bit more i don't know more like arachne you know where they've got the fragments there and then you're just you get a crystal and that places one crystal and that will account for all of the fragments. Like, I'd rather see that, where an Awakened Eye, just maybe one or two of them you place, and then that will summon the dragon, or the dragons in this situation. Because, like, that's that's a lot of money to spawn one, which, if the armor gets nerfed like it should, then it, it shouldn't be that much. That adds up to, like, with current rates, over 100 mil to spawn a single set, which is a little bit excessive, especially not to even be guaranteed, you know, the new dragon or anything now if they were to guarantee that you get a dragon rush and then with a dragon rush there's a 10 percent chance that you spawn a primal okay i could get that that would be a lot less money loss and honestly make dragon fights a lot more fun even if it would probably ruin servers <laughs> you know just everything would be lagging all over the place with five dragons in the air at all times anyways tldr the armor needs to be nerfed and if that happens then the cost of spawning the dragons needs to be nerfed as well it needs to be a lot cheaper and i'm confident they won't release it the way it is right now i spent all day grinding kudra just so that i could upgrade this armor because i'm that confident but that's that's all the bad things that i wanted to, to get out of the way before we talk about the exciting stuff you know we're getting a foraging update eventually and i don't think a lot of people like realize the potential that it could have in 1.20 i mean a lot of people are thinking you know there's wardens there's the crimson logs and the whatever the nether logs and all that you know that's the only reason they're doing it and i really hope that they do a bit more than that and i think they will they tend to bite off more than they can chew and i'm sure that's not because they struggled with adding a new type of log to the game if i had to gamble it's because they're testing out a lot of things with elytra or tridents or even shield pvp like again this island is the only island that's going to be 1.20 and above so Whatever is over there will not be on the other islands. So my guess is that they're going to try to have the items that you hold in your hand still be from 1.8.9. So like imagine a stone sword, right? That you right click it and it sends a trident and breaks a tree or something or breaks a row of trees. Or maybe a hopper that you right click and it puts in a pair of elytra on your back. And then there's like an elytra race there or something, you know? Like, there's lots of cool things that they can do with this that a lot of people aren't taking into account. I sincerely believe that this forging update is going to be some insane things compared to anything we've seen before. They're literally moving up 10 Minecraft years in a singular update. Like, the amount of potential things that they can do here and that they probably are going to do, it's insane. We could have Totems of Undying, you know, Vexes, Ravagers. Imagine an area where you can go and just fight Ravagers or defend a village from pillages and the pillagers somehow have a warden that they've caught you know like there's some some crazy things that you can do in the newer versions of minecraft and we've seen the crazy things they've done with the older versions like who would have thought kudra would be possible like if you guys haven't seen a kudra fight i highly recommend looking at it and then realize that this is in vanilla minecraft with no mods they coded every single aspect of that the animations the health like the way everything moves and works it's insane and sure it took them a long time to make but wow was it worth it and with the amount of time that they've given to the foraging update i really have my hopes set high which again could turn out the wrong way but i i really don't think it will they've spent what at least two three years working on this update and they've had to delay it for good reasons i'm sure either because something turned out wrong or something they wanted to do wasn't possible when things do get delayed it is for good reason so i'm very very hopeful for this the one thing that i do not want to see in this update though if there is another harp i don't know what i will do it took me three hours to beat the last one like if there's another one we will have a problem we may look back on this video in a year and see how horribly it aged because they added dojo 2.0 plus harp 2.0 plus 
dance room 3.0 somehow but i sincerely hope that there is no ping based stuff in this update or if they do add it one of the biggest qols that we could use is just like being able to pay past those things that are ping based because i know people that are on like 200 plus ping that it's like literally impossible for them to do the harp or dojo or the dance room like if there was a way that we could just pay to skip it that would be completely fine with me it'd be, have to be expensive of course but and it at least it'd be possible but they also talked about a crimson isle update which i think derailius did a video recently interviewing one of the ex admins who was talking a lot about it basically they had to kind of scrap a bunch of things from the original idea for crimson isle and in order to get it out at a decent time they were just like cut it in half basically because they had to go back and redo a bunch of things so they're finally ready to release the basically the second half of the crimson isle which could be pretty crazy as well like i mean what can they do to top kudra you know i know they were talking about or at least there was a speculation that there would be some revamps to the current mini bosses you know like blade soul and ashfang all those which i don't think ashfang needs much ashfang is pretty difficult on its own maybe some things to make it easier or more accessible perhaps i don't know the requirements for it are pretty wild but i'm really curious what they're gonna do with that like in all honesty i wouldn't be surprised if there's like part of a fishing update in there somewhere which i mean honestly every update now is some kind of fishing update there's a new sea creature added like every other week it feels like but if they keep it in 1.8.9 there's still a lot of things that they can do which even just thinking about that part still gets me excited for the foraging update because the amount of things that can be done in 1.8.9 are insane and the ones in 1.20 are like unfathomable i'm sure there's plenty of things that i haven't even thought of so if you guys have thought of something that i didn't mention make sure to drop a comment i read all the comments so if y'all have good ideas i might talk about them in the next video but yeah make sure to drop a like on this one as well because if you're enjoying it and you've made it this far then i'd like to do more if this goes well but honestly i wouldn't be surprised if we get like t5 blazes or honestly even t5s of like every other slayer in that update because it is a combat focused island it is the the combat requirement island the furthest one in the game so if they add like a whole new section with like i don't know hellhounds as the t5 wolf spawners and some kind of like zombie that's on fire like the potential things they could do just in slayers alone in that update it, it's pretty crazy and then there's so much outside of that that they could do as well but i'm really curious about what the roadmap is after that i know there's been talk about the abyssal update but i wouldn't doubt we see that in like later this year or maybe not even this year it could very well be a 2025 thing that happened or honestly 2026 2027 could be more realistic who knows but of all the things that i thought they would update i really didn't expect an end revamp so who knows they'll probably go back and revamp some of the older things in the game as well maybe we get some new mayors that would be pretty cool i'm sure we'll get a foraging mayor when the foraging update comes out and honestly i wouldn't mind like a, a crimson isle mayor that like increases your rep gain whilst they're active maybe increases your combat xp or something you know it's like there's definitely some mayors we could get rid of um i don't think anyone really likes foxy or diaz so if they get replaced i don't think anyone will bat an eye but honestly i'd be i'd be kind of curious if they'll do something else with vanquishers you know because currently the only thing we use stars for is kudra keys I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some kind of dungeon or something you have to use stars to enter or maybe there's like a bestiary milestone requirement you know for different difficulties but again the potential of things that could happen it, it's mind-blowing and that's just me like with my own ideas i can't imagine how like crazy it is to have an entire team constantly thinking of ideas and ways to do things and different things that should be done or shouldn't be done things that need to be changed things that need to be added like the potential for this game is insane and i just can't wait to see what they're doing next all right i hope y'all enjoyed that again make sure to drop a like if you did because i would love to do more videos like this because it is nice to kind of have this live stream style video where we're just kind of just talking about things and i know y'all have a lot of great ideas and i think this could be a great way for us to just kind of as a community build our version of the game that we want to see and see what actually ends up happening. But thank you guys for listening to my TED Talk. I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day and God bless.